Hey guys, we will solve a geometric problem in this in this video. Yeah, so I will read what is given in the problem. It talks about the figure that is that you see on the board, right? Okay, it says that A B C D is a rectangle and P Q R is an isosceles triangle such that P Q is equals to P R. Now there are two things we are going to find. Find X. Uh, find angle X and also find angle Z, right? Z or Z, yeah? Okay, so what it says is that this whole thing, see, A, B, C, D, that's a rectangle. And it says that P, Q, R, this is a triangle inside it, right? It's an isosceles triangle, right? And it says that the P, Q, and PR they are equal this side the length of this side sides are equal right okay so using this we are going to find what is the value of angle X and what is the value for angle Z yeah okay so let's start with finding the the angle X yeah let's start with that find angle X yeah so for that what we are going to do is we will take this trapezoid yeah this is a trapezium or a trapezoid however your teacher taught you but here you know what we know that these two angles right here you see here this one and this one they are right angles right they are right angles what it means is it is 90 degree why because this is these two are corners in the whole rectangle in in that sense what will it become is this one and this one also will be right angles right yeah because see the whole thing is rectangle and all the four corners of the uh, of the rectangle will have right angles right so with that we just found i mean we just uh, marked that this one is 90 and this one is also 90 right but in a trapezium the rule is that all the four angles added together how much will it be 360 degrees right in a trapezium or in a rectangle any lines right any figure that has four sides right if you add all the angles together all the four angles right that connects all the four lines will be 360 degrees so with that if we if we if we rewrite this whole figure how will it become see angle x right this one plus 90 degree this one another 90 plus 90 and plus this one is already given right in the in the problem which is 48 degree equals to 360 degree now if you add these numbers together 90 plus 90 180 plus 48 uh, 228 right yeah angle x plus 228 equals to 360 now it is easy to find angle x right so now angle x is equals to 360 minus 228 right got it yeah so what do what will it become 360 minus 228 so 10 minus 2 is uh, 10 minus 8 is 2 and then here we have 5 5 minus 2 is 3 32 3 minus 2 1 132 so angle x is 132 degree yeah so we found the answer for the first question right okay so now let's find the value for z angle z where is this here it is right here right so this one we have to we have to kind of think out of box right it is not very straightforward that we can find the answer because yeah this is a trapezium but you see here this angle is missing here we don't know the value for this angle so let's find this angles value yeah using this triangle right yeah how do we find it see it says that this triangle is an what isosceles triangle such that this side pq is equals to pr right 
yeah so what it means is that let's give because we are taking this triangle let's give address to this two angles as well because see there are two angles at this vertex this side one and this side one so we cannot it, it is difficult it will confuse you if we start using this as an angle point yeah so let's give name for these angles yeah so here we will give maybe what like uh, small q right and then this side we will give small r yeah got it right see now we know that because this one is an isosceles angle right triangle in an isosceles triangle when the when both sides are equal right these two angles the opposite to the vertex right opposite to this vertex these two angles also will be equal right so let's take this angles uh, measure is like maybe a angle a degree yeah so let's write that one right from 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 p angle p q r yeah p q r angle q equals to angle r equals to what we will say a we don't know we are going to find that as well right a degree because they are equal yeah so now you see here this one we already know 64 degree right okay so in that way see in any triangle all this triangle i mean all these three angles together how much will it be the sum of three angles how much very good yes 180 degrees right what it means is that angle q plus angle r plus 64 64 equals to 180 degree right see these two are equal right see we know that q and r the angle q and angle r are 8 degree which means it is equal that's that's based on the the theory that we just saw so what it means is that a degree plus a degree plus 64 equals to 180 degree so here it becomes 2 times a degree plus 64 equals to 180 degree so now 2 a is degree is equals to 180 minus 64 minus 64 what will it become how much 116 116 degree yes 2a degree right so now what is 1a i mean in that case a degree is equal to how much 116 116 divided by 2 which is equals to 5 right well, cancel it for 1 here 5 times 2 is 10 remainder is 1 in 16 8 times 2 is 16 so 58 degree see now we know that what is it angle q equals to angle r equals to a degree equals to 58 we found it so this one is 58 this one is 58 as well right we found it see now from here we are going to find the other side as well right see from this angle what we are going to find is see this is a straight line and there is one line intersecting here which is forming two angles both the side right see this side we have already found it is 58 degree this side let's give an address to this side as well as m right we need to find what is the value for m so that we can find the value for z right z so what is the value for m based on this one you see here in the straight line the angle is what 180 so from the 180 we know that the, the 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 line that is intersecting here one side is 58 what will be the other side in that case what should we do 180 minus 58 yes very good but before that we will rewrite these two right angle r plus angle m equals to 180 right based on the diagram now 58 plus angle m equals to 180 so what is angle m in that case so so angle m is equals to 
180 minus 58. Right? 58. What will it become? How much? Yes, very good. 122 degree. Yes, we have found the angle M. This one is 122. Right? 122 degree. See, now we know that in this trapezium, we know the value for three angles, but the four angles added together is 360, right? We know that. So let's write that one, right? Angle M plus angle B, right? Angle B plus angle C plus this one, this angle, angle Z, right? Angle Z is equals to 360 degree. So now we know the value for M, A, uh, M, B, C, right? So which is? 122 plus 90 plus 90 plus the angle Z, Z is equal to 360 degree, right? So now if you add these three together, how much will it be? Let's add them together, yeah? See, 90, 90, and then 122. So 2, and then 9 plus 9, 18 plus 2, 20, and then we have 2 here, 2 plus 1, 3. 302 right 302 degree plus angle Z is equals to 360 degree now angle Z is equals to 360 minus 302 right so how much will that become let's do that okay 360 302 right now in 10 minus 2 is 8 5 and then 3 minus 3 is 0 so which is 50 8 degrees. So angle Z is equals to 58 degrees. So that is the answer, right? We found the answer for angle X and also for angle Z. You can write it even in the diagram 58 degrees. And this one X we found 132 degrees, right? Easy guys, yeah? So geometric problems are always easier. But if you still have any questions, Please leave the comments in the comment box of this video. I will address it in the next video. Thanks for watching.